Welcome back to the Body Coach TV and welcome to a 25 minute kettlebell workout, mainly focusing on the lower body. So a lot of legs, squats, lunges, kettlebell swings, really gonna fire up the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. Great little workout, 40 seconds on each one with a 20 second rest and then we're gonna go around five times. So five rounds, five moves, 25 minutes. Starting off nice and simple with a goblet squat. So holding that kettlebell nice and close to the chest. We're gonna sit down into the squat as low as you can, stand up tall, that's our first exercise. So 40 seconds on that, followed by a 20 second rest, then we're on to our next one. Right. So time is starting over here. So nice and controlled reps, don't rush the squats. 40 seconds of goblet squats, open up those hips. Let's go, so down and up, good. Nice controlled reps, we're not rushing this exercise. Everything in this session, apart from the, well even the swings are gonna be controlled, but. That's a bit more explosive, but everything else is going to be nice and controlled. Slow reps. Think about the time under tension. So slow and controlled on the way down. Pause and drive up. And that will suddenly make this weight feel a lot heavier than if you were just pumping out, you know, fast reps and bouncing out of them. So control, drive through the heels, stand up tall each time. Perfect. Keeping that weight nice and close to the chest. And relax. Right, next exercise then is a kettlebell swing. So really focus on your hamstrings and your glutes. Slight bend in the knee. And as you swing, you gain momentum by thrusting your hips forward and really activating your glutes. And that's going to swing the weight up. Here we go. Brilliant. So you're not doing a really like low squat like that. You're not squatting into it. It hits your bum almost. And then you drive through the hips. This is really hamstring and glutes. Slight bend in the knee and drive your hips. So straighten those legs. So think about your glutes. Squeeze. And your arms are just swinging. So try not to use your shoulders to pull the weight up. Last few seconds. And relax, perfect, and slowly down. Brilliant, so next exercise, holding the kettlebell again close to the chest. We're now gonna reverse lunges, so reverse lunge, feet together, reverse lunge, feet together non-stop for 40, let's go. So I'll just stand side on. So we're gonna do this control, but your heart rate will start to elevate and we're going for five rounds, so you're gonna feel the burn. Perfect, nice big step. Step back, 20 seconds on the clock. Take your time on these reps. Back straight, look straight ahead. Good work. Shoulders back, weight nice and close to the chest. And relax, perfect. Okay, we're now gonna do a de uh, kind of Romanian lift. So again, hamstrings and glutes, slight bend in the knees. You're gonna stretch down, back, back straight, so you feel the stretch in the hamstrings, and then pull again using your posterior. So down, stretch, and pull, good. Take your time, stretch the hamstrings, and pull, perfect. Stretch. So you don't have to get the, you know, the weight right down. You don't certainly want to arch your back. Keep that back nice and straight as you drive through. Just looking at the kind of floor in front of you. Nice neutral spine. Stretch and squeeze, good. 10 seconds. Obviously if you've got a heavier dumbbell or kettlebell or something, you want to go heavier. You will, you can. With that one, you don't really feel it as much when you're doing it, but the next day, tomorrow, you'll feel the burn. So next exercise, final one, is a lateral lunge. So we hold the kettlebell in close to the chest. We lunge to the side, then to the middle, and then out to the side again. Okay, there we go. So we step to the right, together, to the left. Perfect, nice big steps. 
Keep that weight close to the chest. And come down as low as you can and drive through the heel of that foot. Perfect. Okay, this is the last exercise in the set. And we rest for 20 seconds and we go again. Perfect. Last couple of reps. So you're going to feel and the muscles in your back are working a lot through that because you're hugging the weight. So it's just because you're using your back muscles. Right, a little drink. That's one round. Four more to go. It's a five round circuit. So goblet squats. Let's go. If you do feel like you want to give your back a little rest, you could drop these arms down for this one. Same thing. Squat. Nice and strong. That's an option if you want to give your back a little rest. Perfect. Come on. Five rounds. Just get in the zone. Slow, controlled reps. Drive through the hills. Last few reps on this exercise. And we're back into the swings. Perfect. Right. Kettlebell swings. Same again. Think about that momentum, swinging up, bending those knees slightly and driving through all here. Yes, yeah, so try not to use the quads, hamstrings and glutes, push it forward. Okay, let's go, swing. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Activate the glutes, drive through. Ooh. Perfect, so side on. 20 seconds left. Come on. Last 10. Hamstring and glutes. Now think about the muscle you're working. Squeeze. Cool, I'll tell you what, that's, that's really, they're just stopping that. Kettlebell for flying out the window, you're having to really activate their muscles in your back. Okay. Right. Reverse lunges, same again. Close to the chest. Side on. Lunge. Good. Keeping that back straight. Feet together. Step back. Together. Big lunge back. Ooh. Mm. Try to have the weight away from you, keep it close to the chest, under the chin. Come on. Great little strengthener for the lower body. You obviously you can adapt the weights if you want to do swings heavier or lunges lighter, you know, you can have a couple of kettlebells potentially if you have. But I thought I'd just demo it at one. Going right the way through. So back in for the Romanian kind of lifts, hamstrings and glutes again. Remember, you don't want to arch your back and just use your back. Slightly bend the knees and then drive through the hips. So you're, you're really thinking about pulling with hamstrings and glutes as you, as you pull and drive through. Similar to the kettlebell swing, just about popping the weight up in the air. And obviously you can turn your feet out slightly if you need to. If you want to hit it at a different angle. Or if you really want to make it a stretch, because you're, if you're quite flexible there, go, go narrow. And you'll feel that even more. Stretch and pull. Stretch and contract. Perfect. Right, next exercise then. It's the side lunges. Stepping left to right, with the weight nice and close to the chest. Same again, big step to the right, centre, big step to the left, centre. And here we go, so step. Get as low as you can. You can always use your elbow as a kind of marker, so like, my elbow is hitting my knee. To get that depth, when I hit that, 
I'm popping up. Down. Good, slow, control, push out of it, rather than kind of use like momentum to throw yourself out of it. Drive through the hill and step out of it. Drive through the hill and step out of it, nice and strong. Come on. Perfect, right, weight on the ground. Two rounds, three to go. I'm definitely feeling it here in my upper back and my lats because it's just you're activating it there and also in that so it is normal if you're feeling that okay goblet squats third set so side on come down and up slow control on the way down hold for a second and come up don't just fall down and bounce up Control it, your legs are working on the way down as you eccentric, you lower yourself. Pause, and up. And drive. Good, come on, down, and up. Almost there, phone's ringing, ignore that. Let's keep going, keep finishing. Last few seconds. Perfect, well, let me put that on silent. That's a bit annoying if it rings right. Silent mode on. Wait, will that still ring the bell though? Should do, right. Next one then, is kettlebell swings. Third set on the swings. Again, really think about your glutes. Yeah, still ringing. Right, here we go. Let's go, so swing. Oh. Swing. Keep those feet on the ground and drive through the hips, squeezing the glutes. And that momentum is what's getting that weight up. It's not my shoulder. Connect with that muscle that you're working. Squeeze. Good, come on, arm straight. And squeeze. Drive through the hips. You should be feeling that now in this set. Yeah, you should be definitely feeling that. If you do feel like it's all shoulders, it's because you're probably subconsciously like pulling it up. But again, like your arms are hitting your thighs almost, and then by driving forward, you, it pushes it up with momentum. Okay, reverse lunges. Stepping back. Brilliant. Controlled reps. Slow and steady. This is our third round. We've got two more rounds after this. So I'm getting a good little sweat on now. So obviously less intense, but using massive muscle groups, you know, burning lots of energy here. And you can step this up, you know, if you started swinging a 14, 16, 18, 20 kilogram kettlebell, you'll feel it, it will take the intensity up. So start with a lighter one, and as you get stronger, always aim to progress. Try not to get stuck on the same weights for too long, like try and incrementally increase. Okay, what we've done now, deadlift. So I like to put, you know, kettlebell stuff, dumbbell stuff, and bodyweight things just to mix it up a little bit on the channel. Right, so stretch and pull. But if there's anything you want to see more or less of, whether it's, you know, longer workouts, shorter workouts, more abs stuff, you know, let me know in the comments. Because I do listen, I do read the comments. And I, I, I take the feedback and then I go away and design workouts to give people what they really want. 15 seconds. Stretch and drive. Stretch and drive. Good. Come on, last few seconds. Stretch those hamstrings, feel, those, feel them pull. And then from there you squeeze and drive up. Perfect. Right. We've now got the side lunges. And then that's three rounds done, two more to go. Quick little drink. I'm feeling good now, it's a good little workout. Okay, so side lunges, pick up the weight. Nice big steps to the left and right. Let's see how you go. Step. If you find that you're only doing little like shallow 
ones because of your hips, or you haven't got the range, that's fine. Just step into it and back. And as you get a bit stronger, you can start to dip down lower and your hips will open up as you get more mobility. Come on. Step. Ten seconds on the clock. Last little step to the centre and relax. Right, we've done three. You've done three, we've got two more rounds. So back in with the goblet squats. Let's do these even slower now. Let's really, really do a slow rep to really get that tension. So three seconds down, ready? Three, two, one, pause. And up, good, three second lower. Three, two, one, pause, and up, good. Three, two, one, pause. Follow that tempo. Slow, slow, weight in the heels, chest up. Pause for a second and drive out. Last 10 seconds. Perfect, come on, one more. Slowly down. Hold, feel the push, with the pressure, sorry, and then push up and drive, good. So that just takes that weight and just takes it up a level, you know. You're getting more tension on the muscle. Right, kettlebell swings. Fourth set, same again, swing in, swing for the win. Right, let's go, swing. Well, these are starting to fatigue now. I feel, feel them. I'm struggling with the power through the glutes. Oh, come on. Just keep momentum, swing, come underneath and drive. Clench your glutes, like really squeeze at the top. Drive, activate your bum, wake it up. Wake that muscle up. Clench it. Squeeze. Oh. If you start doing that, if you really, really focus on the muscle and you think about doing that, imagine you're squeezing a nut between your ass cheeks, then you really start to feel it. You can't hide from that. Oh. Yeah, when you get the form on that, it really is a great glute exercise. Okay, reverse lunge. Now take a big step back. And forward, so just lengthen those strides a little bit. Really reach back, step to the middle. Ooh. Step and back. Good, 20 seconds left on this one. Keep that weight close to the chest. Hug it almost. 10 seconds. Step and centre. Last one. Stepping back. You might find that you have a little bit of a wobble. It's totally fine. Oh, right. This is good. We're now into those deadlifts again. And the side lunges, then we've only got one more round. So kicking the weight up. Oh yeah, deadlift, so. Stretch. So you feel the hamstring stretch, and then pull with those muscles. Again, I'm not arching my back. I'm keeping that back nice and strong and using my hamstrings and my glutes. I'm using the back of my legs. I'm not squatting it like this. Okay, I'm just like a little soft bend. Stretch the hamstrings and drive. I mean, you really feel this one too. But tomorrow, they'll be pinging. Your hamstrings will be pinging. They'll be so tight. Last one. And relax, yeah, that's one of them exercises. You don't feel it as much when you're doing it, but the next day or two, days after, it'll be like tender, really tight. Okay, side lunges. I've got a good, decent little sweat on. Okay, so final, so fourth set, the side lunges. Let's step out to the side. And again, we've only got one more round after this. You've done really well. Step. 
Get that depth in that squat. Get down. Get down. And when you're there, drive up. Like really push through the heel of that foot to the centre. Come on, last 10 seconds. Ooh. Brilliant. One more rep and relax. Perfect. Right, we've done four sets. One more round. I want to see what my heart rate is just out of curiosity. I don't really track my heart rate and all that, but I do like having a look sometimes, see what it is. Where is it? Heart rate. All right. So goblet squats, last set. Let's go. Down and up. Good. Slow and controlled. Final set on this one. Get strong. See, my heart rate is at 144 beats per minute. That's quite high considering we're not doing any cardio. We're just doing slow kind of strength work. Right, come down. Let's do a 10 second hold. Come down, hold. Hold, come on, stay there. Stay there. Stay in that tension. Hold it. Five, four, Three, two, oh, oh, oosh. That was a nice little finisher. Remember, this is our last round, so four more exercises, then we're done. 25 minutes, have a little stretch afterwards, and you're good for the, good for the, good to go. So swings, come on, swing. Oosh, oosh, oh, drive. I sometimes feel like I'm gonna drop this thing and it's gonna go flying through the window. Come on. It's easy to get lazy in this one, but don't. Wake them glutes up, drive through the hips. Come on. They're getting tired now, aren't they? Come on. Oh, oh. Crack that nut, remember? Peanut between the arse cheeks. Crack it in half. Squeeze. Squeeze. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's nasty, man. I'll start to feel a lot heavier on that last set. Okay. Same again, reverse lunges. Up with the weight. Come on. Step, narrow. So big, big wide step and then feet together. Try not to lean forwards either. Keep that weight back, but nice straight body. Back straight. 20 seconds on the clock. Big steps, come on. Big steps, perfect. Two more moves after this, come on. Keep working. Step. One more step back to finish. Feeling the burn now. Okay, we've got, we've got the deadlifts and the side lunges. My heart right now, 157 beats per minute. I mean, that's decent. What? Right, deadlift. Let's go. Again, slow, control. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. And then pull. Oh, with all this here, hamstring, glute, I'm not, I'm not kind of using my, you know, my back. And that's out of the picture, really. it's just my lower body and my posterior that are really doing the work here. Squeeze. Oof. 10 seconds, come down and hold the last one, so just feel the stretch. Hold it another, like another inch lower, stretch, 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 and squeeze enough. Cooking. We've cooked the hamstrings. Interesting right. question. Right, so last one. Side lunges to finish. And that's the end of our little 25 minute lower body kettlebell session. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hi, Ev. Okay, side lunges. So step together. Get deep in these lunges now, come on. How low can you go? Ooh. 
tired legs now. Let's get strong, come on, keep pushing. Oh. Ah. Last set. Come on, big steps. 10 seconds. Couple more each side, come on. Step, narrow, wide. Together, one more rep, come on, finish off. Ah. Brilliant. Fantastic. I love that. Great little session, 25 minutes, one little bit of kit. Um, if you do like these kettlebell workouts and you want more, let me know, comment below. If you want more dumbbell stuff, let me know if you want more hit. You know, I've, I've only ever done, I think, the maximum is probably 30 minute workout, but if you want something a bit longer, if you want 35, 40 minutes, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate your feedback because it helps me put out better content and really create a channel that is good for everyone and has given everyone what they need. So thanks again for taking part. I really appreciate your support on my channel. Hope you feel good. I hope you're feeling positive and energised and you feel better than you did when you started that workout. So thanks again. Keep coming back. There's loads more workouts. Have a great day and I'll see you soon for another workout on the Body Coach TV. Good luck.